It's like being a little bird and just being able to go anywhere. <laughs> if I could be Superman, this would be it right here. This is first-person view drone racing. Part virtual reality, part engineering feat, part video game. It's an internet sensation that a small group of fans and entrepreneurs are trying to turn into a mainstream sport. From a visual point of view, it could be bigger than football. They've already raised tens of millions of dollars and have the attention of major TV networks. It's the sport of tomorrow. And we're just at the beginning. growing community of tech-loving thrill-seekers. Young and old, some with jobs, some with kids, some are still in school. I've been in the hobby, in the flying mini for like.
Right now, the money and momentum behind it only seems to be growing. In 2016, there are national competitions planned in over a dozen countries. Dubai just hosted the biggest drone race ever and gave out a million dollars in cash prizes. It was won by a 15-year-old from England. Tornado's Luke Bannister comes through to take the trophy. He and his team will take a victory bonus, proving drone racing isn't just for hobbyists anymore, it's entered the big leagues.